Hello, this is Ms. Pat from Samuel's Public Library. Today in Science Scouts, we're going to read a story about a boy who likes robots. And then when the story is done, we're going to learn how to make a robotic hand using things that we just probably have around the house. So today's story is called Frankie by Leo Timmers. Sam's crazy about robots. He's sure they live on a faraway planet. No one believes him. It's true, Dad. Ha ha, robots on another planet. That's hilarious, Sam. I'm serious. They travel in spaceships. You must watch too much TV, son. They'll come here one day. Impossible. Everybody knows that. Ruff, ruff. You don't know anything. One day, Sam had enough. I need all these things to make someone who understands me. See what he's making? Frankie! You want to play? They play robots every day. Frankie is quite sure the robots will visit soon. In a big spaceship, Sam doesn't tell his parents about his new friend. The weeks fly by. One morning, Frankie is quiet. He doesn't move all day. Until in the middle of the night, he wakes Sam. <gasps> They're here. They're here. Who? What? Robots. Sam knows why they've come. You belong with them. Take care. Have fun. Will you come back? I'll miss you. You look so sad. They're off to their planet. That's where robots live. Everybody knows that. Okay, so you see his hand there? We're gonna make something very similar to what Frankie has. Okay. So people do have hands that are made out of metal. We have hands that are made out of wires. We're going to make our hand today out of paper and straws and string. But you're gonna be able to move it, okay? So we have in our fingers, we have three bones. In each finger, here's your pinky, your ring finger, 
your middle finger, your pointer. Now, here we only have two fingers in your thumb. Okay? And then we have these bones in our hands. One, two, three, four, and here's the one for the thumb. That's not the third part of your finger. Okay? So I just want to show you what your hand looks like. All right? So when you bend them, you can see how we have one, two, three. One, two, three. But in your thumb, this one here is actually part of your hand. You only have this one and this one. But you have two. So we're, when we, you're going to have to remember that when we do the straws. Okay? And then when we do the straws, we're going to be attaching tendons. Okay, we're going to use straws for our bones. And then we're going to attach string through the bones. Right, and that would be the tendons. The tendons are something that connects the muscle in your hand to your bones. And when you want to move them, the tendons are what make them stretch or get shorter and they bend. Okay, so that's going to be the strings in our, and it's almost going to look like this, but this is actually the tendons. So these blue things here, these are going to be the tendons. These are going to be the strings in our our hand when we do this. Okay, so let me get the supplies. Okay, so when you come into Samuel's Public Library and you ask for the STEM kit for the robotic hand, you're going to get a sheet of construction paper. But if you have a cereal box or a pop tart box, something really skinny, you could use that instead. And what you're going to do, okay, is trace your hand. Trace your hand on it, and you want to get part of your wrist. Okay, so you want to get part of this, and then you're going to cut out around, and make sure you spread your hand, by the way, really big. Okay, don't go like this. It's going to be really hard to do it that way. You need to make sure you can see all five fingers, okay? And then you're going to cut out your hand, and you're going to have, and you notice I have my wrist here. Now look. This is a little bit bigger than my hand. I cut around the outside, right? Cut around a little bit outside of where I traced my hand. And then what you're going to do is you're going to mark where your joints are. Okay, so the, remember these are your joints. Mark where those would be and draw those lines there. Okay, and you're gonna get a piece of paper with the STEM kit to explain all of this again, right? But you're going to see how you have those lines. And when you draw, make those lines, you can bend them, okay? So you're going to have two bends up here. I'm sorry, three bends up here because you have three. Remember, you're going to have three sections to put those shorts, okay? And you're also going to bend them at the bottom of the fingers, just like your knuckles, okay? And then in your kit, you're gonna get three shorts, and you're gonna have to measure the sections in your fingers, okay? Something like this. You can see where the line is. And then I'm gonna cut it a little bit shorter than that, because I want it to fit inside of there. Now, this is where it's going to get a little complicated. If you want to glue them, it's going to take another day for the glue to dry. But if you want to tape them, and I'm going to tape them today just to show you how I do this. And I've already got some of these things already cut out. Okay, so I have a little one. And I'm going to put it here. Now, like I said, if you want to glue it, you could. If you want to tape it, you can tape it. Now I'm using masking tape just so you can see, but you could use any kind of tape. Now remember, these are gonna be your bones and you wanna put them inside those lines, okay? Try not to get them over those lines. And you wanna be able to see where they are. 
Now when you tape the next one, make sure you leave a little bit of room between it. Remember, we want it to be able to bend. Okay. And we're gonna do that with all of our hands. You have to kind of line them up because this next part, I'm only going to show you how to do one finger on this. You're going to get some pieces of string, and I gave you five colors. All right, they've already been pre measured out, but I gave you five colors, and you're going to get yarn. You're going to put it through. The straws, you got to put it through all three of them. So if you want to do that and then tape them down, you can. But make sure you pull it all the way down. Okay, mine is a little too long. So on this end, what you could do is kind of make a fingernail. You can bend it, all right? I want you to see this string here. Because we, we can't pull it all the way through. You can put this right here on the end and you can tape it to the back or you could just tape it over, okay? Kind of looks like that now, okay? And you're gonna do that with all your fingers, and then you're gonna have these bigger pieces. All right, and I've got a couple of these big pieces. Remember we had bigger bones in our hands. So that's also gonna go down there. And I will tape that one down. And then when you're all done, and you have all of them done, and you have five of these little, or five of these big ones, you're gonna have one colored straw. And what you'll do with that colored straw is also tape it down. And that'll be down by your wrists, okay? And you're going to feed the string through there, all the strings. So you're going to have one, two, three, four, five strings going through this big straw. Because this one is a little bit bigger than all the others. And again, you can put the strings through the straw and then tape them down, which I might have to do. And when they're all done, you'll have five different colored strings out down here and yours will be longer. And you'll know which string goes to which finger. I just wanna show you, when I pull the string, you see what happens to my finger? So my straws are my bones and this string is the tendon. It's making my finger bend, okay? Let me show you one that's already been completed. This one I glued. All right, so this one has all the, all the straws on it. And one of the strings is missing. And I glued these ones down, so this one had to take a couple days. And on the ends though, you can see that I have the fingertips. That's to keep the string from coming through the straws. Okay, and then when I, Hold the strings, you see what happens? 
Right, so this is like my robotic hand. These would be my tendons going through my bones. Right, now you can practice with this. You can do different types of deal, things with this. Um, you could attach this to a cardboard tube and you could put a plastic glove over this if you do this with cardboard instead of paper and you can make your hand move, okay? So just, let me make sure you guys can see. I'm only, like I said, there's one string missing on my thumb right now. All right, so if you come in to San Luis Public Library this week, you have to put a book on hold or you can make a reservation to come into the library starting on Thursday. You can go on the calendar and reserve a one hour slot. You're only allowed to come in for an hour. You can get books out and you can ask for the STEM kit. You have to actually ask for the STEM kit. We're not just gonna hand those out. Tell us which one you need, okay? But if you're up to the robotic one, this is the one you'll get, all right? So next week, we're going to learn about wind we're gonna learn about cars, okay? Or actually, we're gonna make a car. But for right now, bye, that's it.